Hi again. This is the Rio Motors Car Show in LaSalle. This is always a great show with beautiful cars and good people. Let's have a look, starting with this 1955 T-Bird. I think this may be Ron's car. He said he was planning to have some work done and upgrades. It looks perfect. And it was great looking even before the paintwork. But Ron's T-Bird is not the only beautiful car at Reams. How about this 1964 Chevelle? Here's Bob's 33 Chevy that took nine years to restore. Not sure, but this may be a Morris Oxford. That's my best guess. The surprise is under the hood. This is really a nice car. Somebody did a lot of work on this and it looks amazing. Norm was here with his 1940 Mercury convertible. He's owned this for a couple of years and keeps it in ideal condition. There's Bob's 57 Ford. He also owns another 57 Ford, a convertible. That's Terry's F68 49 Ford. And more cars at the Reum Show. There's Lens 67 Caddy. This really is a nice riding car. And this is Dennis 1956 Ford F100 pickup. There's Larry's 56 Chevy. There's my car, a 62 old Starfire with a 394. This is a kit car of some kind. Not sure what the engine is in this either, but it sure is interesting. Let's move on. Here is Terry's 54 Chevy pickup. And Limo Jack's customized 1951 Mercury. Great paint on Jack's car. What a nice looking Dodge pickup. Here is Lloyd's 1970 Plymouth that he's owned since brand new. And more cars at the Reum Show. It was good seeing Larry here with his 37 flatback Ford. This car started from nothing. Here is Dale's 47 Ford Coupe. This is Russ's 57 Ford. It's running three deuces. Here's another Russell's car. It's a 61 Starliner. Here's Vincent's 35 Ford. He did most of the work on this himself. It has a fiberglass body and it's running a big block 437. Now Catherine's 1957 Chevy. It's in great shape. Here's Tom's 69 Plymouth Convertible. Paul came by with his 67 Chevy pickup. Under the hood is a big block 454.
Also finding at 454 is Leo's beautiful 67 Beaumont. Tom was here with his 80 Camaro. Here is a fine example of a 28 Ford. And this is George's all-original 63 split-window Corvette. I'll be quiet now for a while so you can admire these great cars. And thanks to Reams for putting on this show. There's Marcel's 57 Corvette. And there's a cool-looking Chevy convertible. It's owned by Jim. Giorgio came along with his pickup. And there's Denise's 1960 Frontenac. He only made this car for one year. Here comes Chris and his 67 Barracuda. Here's a question. How do you cram a 350 engine into a 49 Prefect? Well, the answer is very simple. You do it carefully. Nice to see Dan here with his 58 Chevy Cameo Cario pickup. These are very rare. Hi to you too. Bruce brought along his 32 Ford. 
Allen's 67 Fairlane Convertible. Here's David's 2015 Mustang. What a neat looking 34 Ford Repro. Jean's 55 Pontiac. Hi Ed, it's good to see you with your nice looking 64 T-Bird. And how about Rick's GTO? It's a top-down cruiser. Now another Rick with his 65 Cutlass. Love those Oldsmobiles. Richard's 65 Sport Coupe. They only made this for one year. It's true, car people are the best people. Bob is showing off his Roadrunner. Some years ago, he added a 440 under the hood. What a nice looking Corvette. And there's Dan's car, a 64 T-Bird in top condition. It's a joy to drive. This 66 Dodge Coronet belongs to Russ. It's running a 440 engine. 66 was the first year for the 440. Here's my 77 Ford pickup. Richard and JR came along with their 66 Valiant. There's Richard and JR now. It's nice to see you guys. This is Norm's Mustang, and it's customized to his own taste. There's a 69 Corvette. And here's Bob's 1985 Jeep. That's a 350 engine under the hood. Stan has owned this 65 Chevy from new and now it's fully restored. It's running an original 327 and four speed. Here's Randy's 1994 pickup. Rick came along with his 1950 Ford Custom. Let's look under the hood. Diane's 54 Chevy is showing lots of original patina. This is Mike's 28 Model A in original condition. What a nice clean engine. And here's a clean looking 64 Chevy. And Camaro. That's Ken's 1957 Ford. Jim brought along his 67 Fairlane convertible. What a great day to have the top down. This is Rick's 1958 Chevy pickup. There is Dennis' 37 Chevy sedan. There's Brian's 66 Mustang Fastback. And John's 1935 Buick. This car has all the luxuries. And here's Marvin's 1925 Model T restored by his dad and brother. This is Ray's pride and joy. It's a 47 Dodge. Love that eggshell grill in this car. Here's Jason's 1939 Ford. And this is Kevin's special 68 VW. Under the hood is an engine turning out 500 horsepower. Now David's 68 Camaro.
Hi Frank, it was good to see you here with your beautiful 67 convertible. Wayne arrived with his 55 Chevy. Some really nice trophies were handed out at this show. Congratulations to all the winners. Fred's custom 47 Chevy and Bob's 37 Ford. This is Sue's 1949 Ford. She's done a lot of work here. The Purple Onion, no longer. Steve is the owner of this very fast 1966 Chevy 2. Here is Derek's luxury 67 Riviera. It's clean inside and out as is the engine. Frank's 1969 Barracuda. The engine here is also clean as a whistle. Lori came by with her 1968 Mustang. She really enjoys this car. Here's another luxury car. It's Daryl's beautiful Riviera. Joe is the owner of this 55 Cadillac. Love those chrome bumper bullets. Angelo's 69 Mustang Mach 1. Here's Andy's car. It's a 1931 DeSoto, and he bought it just as you see it. It's powered by a 400 Chevy engine. Here is Gino's award-winning 55 Chevy two-door. Now there's his Mickey Mouse mascot. And another clean-looking engine. Speaking of immaculate, Steve's Charger has had an every nut, bolt, and screw restoration. It's running a big block 426. This has been a major project to bring it back to new. Here's a look inside. Ron brought along his 1930 DeSoto paddy wagon. This gets a lot of attention. Still plenty more cars to see, starting with Dave's Ford 5 window coupe. Leroy's pickup truck. I think it's a 54. I know there were a lot of cars here, but I still didn't get them all in. Too many cars. Well, I'm getting tired of talking, and I know you're getting tired of listening to me. So here are a few more cars before wrapping up. Well, that's a look at the Riem Car Show. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks to all for coming out. And thank you for viewing. And as always, we'll see you at the Car Shows and Cruise Nights.